Yeah, Diane and, and Joanne, it was a very emotional ceremony, a very long ceremony with so many, many awards. The mayor, though, said that this ceremony was not just to honor all of the heroes at the precinct, but it's to salute each and every officer who puts on the badge every day. It was the first time the four wounded officers had appeared or spoken publicly about the shooting at the precinct. As they continue the healing process, both physical and emotional, one by one they received award after award, given with all the love, gratitude, and support the city could bestow. For us who get up every day and go to work, we're not confronted with some of the craziness that happens in our community. We as citizens need to every day thank God for them. Commander Brian Davis was the only one of the wounded who was up to speaking today. Incidents like this on the department does not weaken us, it strengthens us. It really does. The, the political leadership in this, in this city has just been outstanding. Um, and, and again, I just, I just don't know what to say with all the support that, that we've gotten. <laughs> Thank you. The chief says without the commander's leadership, officers would have died. And he told of a fateful conversation they had months ago. Uh, when I first became chief of police, uh, one of the first things I did was ask Commander Davis not to retire. And um, if he had have retired, I don't know what would have happened that day. So, Commander, uh, no matter what pain you go through, uh, please know that I'm eternally grateful to you uh, for heeding the call. And in addition to those four very special wounded officers, there are a dozen other officers at that precinct who played a vital role in uh, just keeping this thing from being much, much worse than it could have been. And coming up at 6, we will hear from them. Reporting live downtown, I'm Val Clark. Joanne, back to you. What an amazing...